Let's talk about a normal body function, clotting, that could at one time or another in our lives become detrimental to us. And I know that sounds weird or, or different to what I normally say because I always talk about how the body will always take us towards health. But that's assuming that we have the right environment, that we're eating well, that we're not always stressed. Mm, that's not usually what happens, right? So clotting, which is a normal, necessary function in our body. For example, you cut yourself, you're in an accident, and you, you severed a limb or something so that the body, so that you don't lose all your blood at that moment, the body has platelets that it sends because it recognizes there is an emergency at a skin level. And it'll go and it'll send platelets and they clump up and now they've clotted and now you don't lose all your blood through there. Wonderful, very necessary, we want that to happen. Where we don't want it to happen is inside our arteries. Inside our arteries, we have where the blood flows. We have nutrients that flow through there. We have red blood cells. We have white blood cells. We have cholesterol. Uh, we have all sorts of goodies that travel through these arteries. And sometimes some of this, because of our health, because of our lifestyle, can become attached to the walls. The arterial walls become sticky because stress makes them inflamed and, and it creates like a, like it, the equivalent of them being coming sticky. And so some of this cholesterol can begin to build on these walls, forming what we know as plaque. And plaque, what it eventually does in an artery cell is it, grow, it, it attaches itself and makes the space in that cell narrow, more narrow. So now we have blood that's having a hard time traveling because now the area is not as wide as it should be because of the plaque that's building up. The problem with plaque is that it, is in, it, is, it can become unstable. And when that happens, it can break off. It can create a rupture in the plaque. The body perceives that as an emergency and actually sends platelets to cover this rupture. When that happens, there's a clot that's created there. A clotting occurs, a clot is there, a thrombus. The problem with that is that now that narrow artery wall has even become probably even closed up and now the blood can't travel through there. And because blood travels in arteries to take oxygen to muscles, even the heart muscle, when that doesn't happen, now you are exposed to having a heart attack. In fact, you do have one or a stroke, depending on where this clot is taking place. So. The medical profession has decided that the solution for that is to give you antiplatelets. And they have different medications that are antiplatelets or they have the solution of take a baby aspirin a day and you'll be covered, it's preventive. Well, the, the problem with having a baby aspirin a day as a preventive way to avoid this clotting in areas where they can harm you is that it has a lot of side effects that are negative and surely we don't want that. In fact, the doctor knows that, and so one of the things he tests or he finds out from your uh, intern before he, he gives you this is he finds out if your regular medical doctor uh, considers you at risk for digestive issues or if you've had ulcers or any digestive problem that would get worse when you have a baby aspirin. And if so, then you can't take the baby aspirin. So now you're left with, what do I do? Well, whether you have a problem with your digestion or not, or whether you want to look for a natural alternative to um, that replaces this antiplatelet that they're giving you, this is a fantastic replacement. Renew, actually one of the ingredients here is called Yusu, and Yusu has amazing antiplatelet properties. And studies have shown that. If you'd like to know about these studies, if you message me, or text me, I always give you my phone number, I can give you the information so that you can confirm that. So this is a excellent alternative to avoiding having to take that baby aspirin every day. And what's neat about this product is it's going to give you side effects, but they're very good secondary effects. So you're taking it for one thing, but you're gonna benefit in a whole bunch of other ways. So consider this, it's a drink you take at night, you take it once a day, uh, it's gonna help with a whole bunch of other things. We'll talk about it in other videos, but now consider it as something that'll help you with your cardiovascular health. Message me, ask me for questions, or ask me your questions, and I'd be more than glad to continue to share information on this topic with you.